All right. Uh, Tim. Hey, Tim. My wife and I both enjoy your show. Keep up the good nice. work. Hi, Tim's wife. Um, since Ubuntu changed to Pulse Audio, I've not been able to record audio streams from websites. Back on Ubuntu 6.10 <coughs> or so, I used to be able to use Audacity to record audio streams on web websites directly from my PC speakers using Audacity, but now it seems to be an impossible task. Do you mm -hmm. know of a way of getting this to work in Ubuntu 9.04? And thanks again for having a great show. Thanks, Tim. I, I'm sure that there's an easy way. I don't know it. Hmm. Because in my setup, I don't know if you watch Backstage Pass or not, but if you do, you see that everything goes through a mixing console. And I don't, I don't even monkey with that stuff anymore because I don't have to. So because everything comes from one computer, goes all through our microphones, through the, through the uh, Ultramizer Pro and the Mo uh, Sonic Maximizer, and then goes through the board and it goes out to the other computer and broadcasts from there. So I don't have to deal with any of that. Mm. So lucky me, but what does that do for you? Absolutely <laughs> not. But what we used to do back in the early days of computing, before, um, before it was even an option to use uh, record from the mixer device, and that might be an option, you know, if you can find it, I, I wouldn't rule out just trying. Like, get your, uh, get your mixer up on the screen and go through the settings. Uh, what you need to do is bring up preferences, And make sure, now, if you see one in here that's not checked, that's like Master Mix. See, I've got one called Mix, right? So that's going to be a, a record channel. So now I also, it <laughs> doesn't really help me much if I don't have the ability to see the record channel. Capture. Does that give it to me? Recording. Capture. I don't know, you, you, like if you go through all those kind of settings, you might be able to find one that's a mix, like I did there. Because what I want to do is I want to record from my the mix of my sound card. But uh, as I was saying, if you can't get that to work, and I'm sure there is a workaround, and I just don't know it, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, but what we used to do back in the early days is we would just get a little, like, three or six inch, quarter inch to quarter inch, or I guess eighth inch to eighth inch, uh, because you're not using a balanced card most likely. Um, so eighth inch to eighth inch, like two headphone jacks, right, with just a little cable between them and you run one from the output and one into the input. Just before you do that, make sure that you turn off line in as a speaker output device, because otherwise you're going to create a feedback loop. But what you can do then, and you can get even more sophisticated by having a splitter, so that you can still have your speakers going, right? So you've got the output with a splitter, and you've got a cable going to the input, the blue, and you've got a cable going to your speakers, and then you can record from that line in and the line in is actually going to be the same as what's coming out of your speakers. That's a really old school kind of workaround way of doing it. We used to use patch panels and stuff and be able to move things around, but that would be a workaround if, you're, if your card drivers uh, don't support it or whatever. But make sure you mute it as an, input, or as an output channel first. Otherwise, you're gonna, you, you could blow up your entire sound card. Not literally, but it would be painful. <laughs> Yeah, VK7HSE, our uh, resident... Uh, you said that very well. Yeah, well, he's, a, he's our resident uh, kind of like uh, guru when it comes to chips and mods and stuff. One-to-one -one transformers. Making sure you put one of those in the, uh, in the setup as well. Hmm. I have no idea what he just said. That, that's talking engineer speak, not an engineer. But look it up because it might be really important. <laughs> I'm totally playing with you, VK. Ah, all right. 